Hello everyone, Dark Blaine here, back playing some more AFK Arena. And in this video, I'm going to go through the new Voyage of Wonders that they added. It's called Void Rift. I'm just going to go through and just show you uh, what you can do to uh, get all the rewards in this one. So let's get on with the video. Okay, so I'm going to go to the Voyage of Wonders tab here and it's right here void rift it is near chapter four in the in the campaign map here and when i click on it here as you can see you get only one big chest in this voyage of wonder and you get 10 stargazer cards which is very nice very nice stargazer cards always always a good thing to get from the voyage of wonders and then the next, and then the small chest, you get a bunch of uh, rewards, emblems, uh, gear reset scrolls, and ten normal scrolls. So, looks like pretty much the same rewards there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna read this description here. A small town, small town on the edges of the light bearer's dominion finds itself being slowly eroded by a mysterious dark force. The land is slowly being eaten away at a foreboding sign of an impending invasion. Although once weakened, once weakened, disciples of this dark force still roam the world with their evil intentions forever unceasing. After years of laying in wait, the disciples have risen once more to create a nefar nefarious pentagram that is able to bend and break the fabric of reality, unhearing in a new malevolence in from the void realm in order to uphold order within the realm heroes must step into this distorted land which has been infected by the void realm only by repelling this infectious force that permeates this land can order be reinstated so it's just yeah it's just evil has taken over the land and you have to go in and uh just take take the evil out of it. I'm just gonna click begin adventure here now. And this Voyage of Wonder is surprisingly easy. There are no there are no little gimmicks, no like no really like special things you have to do. I the toughest thing really you have to do in this one is just battle all the all the camps here. And when you get into it, it starts off with Belinda and Lucius here. Just as our sources predicted, this place seems to be enveloped by some kind of mysterious force. A dark and mysterious force. It's apparent that things here are not as they should be. You must find the source of this force. If things are to return to a state of peace and order. Quickly, let's make haste. Pretty short there. And the first, the only thing you can do right now here is battle this first boss here, this first camp. Okay, that one was bounds down, and as you can see, you do not get any relics from these camps. You get no relics from this Voyage of Wonder. And yeah, I'll just take a look at the map quickly. Yeah, there, there, there are, there are, there are like no gimmicks or anything, no special. No special things you have to do in this one. You just really have to beat camps here. I'm going to go next to this camp down here. And there's another one there. I'm going to go immediately collect this chest down here. And get some more rewards. Every, and everything's blocked by shadows, so it's just pretty much roaming around and seeing where, seeing what things you can do. And as you can see, there's a there's a residence here, a peaceful residential district. You can visit this, and you'll get some more dialogue here with Moriel here. I sense there is power inside you both. We are disciples of the divine light. How should we address you, my lady? Do you know what's happening to this place? You may call me Moriel, Queen of Stars. The force you sense here emanates from the Void Realm. The Void Realm previously destroyed my cosmic garden and now threatens to do the very same to your home too. The heart of Zorod 
I possess can restrain this forest, but I alone cannot destroy it. Help me, and together we can bring order back to this land. There is prophecy mentioned the existence of a celestial star oracle. It is our honor to fight by your side. We will protect you in the name of the light. Okay, as you can see, we got Moriel. We got Moriel in, uh, in the battle now. And so, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go over here. I'm going to just fight this camp now. Okay, that one was taken down there. I'm going to immediately collect this chest now. And get some essence there. Go over here. I'm going to fight this camp now. That one was taken down. Not only is this Voyage of Wonder easy, pretty easy, but the camps here so far, in, at least in this first part, are also very easy to take down. Okay, I'm going to check this, just check around this first section, check around this first section of the, of uh, this uh, map and see if there's anything else, which doesn't look like there is, so I'm just going to go up here. And you're met with more dialogue. As you can see, we got a a, a, an a artifact, it looks like. And we're given some more dialogue. The situation is more serious than I had anticipated. The ground ahead has been completely enveloped by this nefarious dark force. That must mean the source of this force is not too far ahead. Enemies, Lucius. Wait, there's something amiss about them. Now they now may not be the best time to attack. We need more information first. Okay, so we got a artifact in the bag here, Ever Vanting Force. All allied heroes except Moriel deal 90% less damage to enemies. So it'd be a good idea to use that Moriel we got a little bit ago to beat uh, these camps up here. So I'm going to first start with this one, this common enemy camp here. And I'm going to use, I'm going to switch Moriel. I'm going to switch out Sophia and put Moriel in there. There we go, we got that one down. And immediately collect this chest down here. Get some emblems. And then we have this big one right here. This big camp here. Okay, that one's down there. And still, as you can see, we are not getting any uh, artifacts or anything. I'm going to go over here, over to the left now, and take out this one. That one was down. So far, just like the last one, these these bosses have been pretty easy too. And as you can see up here, there's a little crystal. We're, we're going to have to get up there to that crystal, so I'm going to go take down this boss now. There we go. And now we have access to this crystal, the pentagram core. Two critical points are keeping the pentagram hidden. Find these two points and destroy them in order to weaken the enemy's power. So there's two of these pentagram cores here, and we're going to have to destroy both of them, which is pretty easy. You just have to click the destroy button, and that's it. And then Moriel comes up here. This point has already been destroyed. Enemies will soon arrive to fix it. We must find the next critical point quickly. Okay, so we're... So I'm going to go over to this camp now. That was below the crystal, and I'm just going to beat this one. Okay, that one was taken down. And we get some red chest emblems there. As you can see, there's a uh, there's an enemy camp right here, so I'll take this one down as well. Okay, that one's down. Moriel, definitely with, especially with that, uh, especially with that artifact, is really making a difference in how I'm taking down these camps here. Def, I would say definitely use the Moriel. Either if you have Moriel, use that Moriel, or if you have a, uh, or you can also use the mercenary Moriel that you get near the beginning of this adventure. So I'm. I'm going to go over here, and as you can see, there's Belinda and Moriel here. 
Careful, the source of the, the unusual force is just ahead. What's that? The fabric of reality has split apart. Void Realm's underlings have created a pentagram here. It allows for the Void Realm to seep into this world. The enemies ahead are even greater in strength than they were before. We must think of a way to distract them. If we can find a hidden pentagram, we can destroy it. I sense a cosmic field, the point where the end where the energy converges is nearby. So they're just talking about the pentagram and destroying the cores, which we've already destroyed one. So I'm just gonna go up here to this camp now. That one was down. Yeah, it's yeah, this this Voyage of Wonder again is just pretty much pretty much just beating all the camps. And there's the second one destroyed. The pentagram has been destroyed, we must seize the moment. Okay, so this one will this camp right here will now be significantly weaker than it was before. But before I do that, I'm gonna go and take out these two uh, camps here. Okay, that one's down. And I'm gonna collect this chest here, some more emblems, and now I will go and take down this enemy camp here. And that one was taken down and the f second chest down here contains some more emblems okay so i'm just going to go through just look around and see if in this second part see if i have any more uh, chests which doesn't look like it so now i'm going to go over here as you can see there are only three only three uh enemies here and that's because we that's because we destroyed the two uh pentagram cores because we destroyed the two pentagram cores, that one was very easy. And then here's Moriel and Lucius again. The gate of the Void Realm has been shut. Now order can be gradually restored to this land. I thank you both for your help, but we must not let our guard down. The Void Realm's underlings still roam this world. For the light. Where there is light, evil cannot flourish. Okay, so now the underlings can't can't come here anymore but we still have some of the underlings to take care of here so the rest the rest of this the rest of this voyage of wonder is just going to be defeating the rest of these camps and getting all the all the rewards you know there's nothing else really to worry about for this one okay that one's down there and i'm immediately going to collect the gear reset scrolls there and then there's one here right next to it it has some uh, legendary heroes here. Okay, that one was down. That one's down now. And like this one is just five of the normal scrolls. And looks like there's one right here. So I'll take down this one as well. Okay, that one was taken down as well. Collect this chest. Which is the five other normal scrolls. And then go over here. Here's the final, the final boss here. Be careful in this one. This one has some very nasty heroes. So definitely, when, I would definitely recommend that you pay close attention to this one so you don't lose all your heroes. Okay, I, I took that one down now. And then finally you can go and collect this big chest here. The one that contains the 10 Stargazer cards. Okay, so even though you've collected this, even though you collected this big chest, I would recommend that you either look around the map or you go up here to menu and see that you've collected every chest here. Because it should say one of one. For this one, it should say 13 out of 13 for this one. And if either one of these doesn't say that, look around the map and see where, see where the uh, missing chest is. And once once we collected everything, click finish adventure, and you're done with the void rift. So, I yeah I just wanted to go through this one. This one is a very straightforward, very easy voyage of wonder. Just beating a bunch of of uh, camps and destroying the two pentagram towers, and that's all you have to do. Very easy. A lot of rewards. Make sure you do this one. Make sure you definitely do this one. Very very easy 
Voyager Wonder. So thank you guys for watching. If you haven't already, subscribe, like, and comment any AFK Arena related video ideas, and I might do them in the future. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. See you later.